Alright, so... This is the X tier list. Adrenaline Rush. I think it's A tier, uh, okay? That's, that's an A tier. This is an A tier. Because, basically, you only get value if you kill players, except for the one second CD, which makes it A tier. Because it's consistent in that way. Stinger, you're, you're right, no, that's gonna be that's gonna be high up, boys. But like, that's we're not there right. yet. Okay. Awakening, or, yeah. Wait, what are the tiers? S, A, B, C. Oh, uh, you can look. Yeah, we have S plus S, A, B, C, oh, and D. Okay, this see. is going to be useless tier. Well, A. I mean, yeah. Adrenaline rush. Half the half the roster. We might bring that. it up later, but I think this is an A so far. You know, we got this one. Now it's not technically useless. Because right. you can have an increased dash plus dog, okay? You're not Aerial taking aerials on not. X. Aerial, uh, are we looking just at X or everyone? This is X. This is X tier uh, list. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Aerial Big is fish. Good. This is kind of good. Dash range is pretty shit. Big fish, good at S plus. Now, I don't know about S plus. Might at be an S. S. It might Not be an S. Because it makes you you're, you're bigger, but it also it makes, makes you, you bigger. You think you can also get hit easier. But it does no, give you HP. It makes you, it Built Div is you better. Built Div is way better than Big Fish. Okay, I agree. I agree. Because it gives you shock, more damage than shock, and I think every ability on X is a shock. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know his ult is a shock, so it's good. A shock? Uh huh. You know what? We'll look what over it right now. Okay, yeah. Wait, hold on. Damn it, why are there two different types for this? Im I mean impact. impact That's yeah, what I meant. I like okay, so second. Uh, uh, I don't know why his secondary doesn't count as yeah, impact. It's a multi hit, yeah. and whatever. It's a dash. Remember, this actually counts. I swear it counts. Yeah, the strike counts as an impact. I know it does increase damage, bro. When you take this, you do more damage. Some of the stuff is listed wrong. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to lab that. But Look, I can tell you. You know why? Look at this. Watch the Zentaro passive. No, 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 I, it doesn't say projectile on it, and guess what? It's a projectile. That's true. All right. Yeah, it's just I know it increases the damage. Alright. We'll throw that at we'll throw that A good B tier yeah. because X has the highest stagger, almost one of the highest staggers in the game, so True. he uses this HP training pretty decently. I think HP training is a good Might even be low A tier. It's just like literally only good on X and Juliet. Yeah. Which is why it's That's B tier, it. because you don't get that much denial value. Bulk up is good with big fish. When you have those two together, you get more damage. That's true. Castellas, S tier. Might even be S plus. I will need S2. to re-value some of these. I, I don't know about S plus, but definitely S tier. But the reason why Castellas is S, S tier is because it increases your ult duration by 75%, and your ult is a decent amount of your damage, so. It's a, it's a long time. Crypto boost? Just... Dog. Uh, Just kidding. C tier. I'll put it a low, low, low B. There's a it's, big it's, reason. It's a shittier cast Celeste. Because you can proc it on your ult. So yeah, the buffs exactly. debuffs has uses. It's a shittier cast Celeste. Useless. No. You're not playing X goalie probably. And if you are, you're not yeah, taking I, this. I, I'm not going to do uh, those though. Gears. Gears. Yeah. Extra special. A tier. A tier. It's A tier. For sure. It lowers his ult cooldown, but it's not the the best. It's not the, the like best, yeah. the Bissington City of X, right? A low B tier on Glass Cannon. It's kind of a mid awakening overall, but it has a slight useless if your the enemies don't die, uh, don't uh, hit you at all. Are you, I'd argue maybe C. Is it, I I just don't think Glass Cannon's good in general. It may be C, but like I I like an overvaluing Glass Cannon on it. I don't know. it it can sometimes pop off. You don't understand, it gives you that 40 power. It Even if you, like, only hold that it, like, matters. don't get hit for a t one or two seconds, you get, like, 20 power, bro. And, and like, half the speed. Yeah, so it, it, it gives you some stuff. Now, heavy impact. It's quite goaded. When have you ever seen an X hit, like, only one player with their primary? Unless they're, like, going for gunning for a single person. So you're getting the, the, the uh, rebound on that. And you're, you can proc it on your strikes, too. So, there's that as well. See, if you proc this on your strikes, it makes your deck strike come up way quicker. So you can just machine gun them down with the X's ultimate. So, there's Isn't that. Dash again? I think it's whenever yeah, you hit it multiple times. It doesn't give it increased oh, damage, but if you hit multiple people with your dash, it will decrease it. Okay. Hot shot is just an overall good awakening. Hot shot's pretty good. But like, 
It's not that best for X, because that's not what he's trying to game. He's not trying to game for. Because uh, normally you don't take those type of awakenings on X. Monu doesn't do anything. Once you punch, it can proc on your all over and over again. So. Once you punch, I'd say low A for now. High B, but yeah, well, it's best so. Because it procs on your ult if you just punch and punch and punch. So that's just a damage increase almost. That's a 35 damage increase every other strike. And if you like dash or then spin, you do mad damage. Yeah. Missile prop also useless. Peak performance. Hmm. Peak performance mm. is an interesting one. Uh, I mean it's stagger, you know. If your ult is at 25 for every hit except for the first, um, no, because it takes it's every other hit. It's not every hit. I don't think you can proc one two punch over on an error once you punch has to reset again. I'm pretty sure it will. I'll put it. I, peak mm. performance is pretty high because extra has pretty naturally good. high max HP stagger. exactly, and he lacks speed. So if you can get this training, it's. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I yeah. might even put it ahead of one two punch. It's it's if very you, if you yeah if you max it with like if you mix it with like big fish. It depends on what you're trying to do in the match, right? If you're trying to sit on the goalie, you know peak performance ain't too hot. But if you're yeah. like playing in a way where your team's really not playing midfield, like you need to get the court more, you know peak performance pretty goaded. Okay. Good to move up for sure. Now perfect form, completely utterly goaded. Because it. Greatest. Because, okay, so you might think I'm coping a little bit, but like, look at this. So, X's strikes, they proc perfect form when he hits his ult. And if we go to the damages right here, the rule book, perfect form, it reduces your ability cooldowns by 12%, up to 1.2 seconds. Every single punch you're getting 1.2 seconds cooldown refunded on your ult. And 12% all your other cooldowns. So it's quite strong. It's a solid Quite. Order. It's a solid awakening. It's like one of the best for sure. Prime time. Now prime time That's is pretty good. Because not only does it make you do more damage, it's also a very good awakening to deny from other characters that really need it. So. Because it's not really a priority though. Goes it goes in is, high A tier, honestly. Because like yeah. it's very useful for denying from other strikers, but for X it's pretty decent. It reduces your ult cooldown, yeah. Whenever you punch somebody, it reduces all your cooldowns for you. That's that's value. Right oh, right. perfect form. It's insane value now. Prize fighter. It's a depending on game to game situation. So yeah. it's A. But in other it's, games, it could be like up here, right? But like over it, most it's games, a, it's A. It's very situational. Yeah, it's, a, it's a flip. It's a flip. It could be completely useless. If you're the 25 playing. power is really good that it just gives you base. And if you can stack it all the way up, you can have almost double your power. So it's really good. Like, yeah, you don't take the stuff on Oni's Village. You take the other stuff on Oni's Village, right? Yeah. You take the perfect form. You take the built diff. Take the big fish. We go, we go crazy. You take, you take price fight and stuff on like Atlas Labs, maybe Night Markets. Stuff like that where you can kill players more. And depending on your teammates yeah. too as well. Yeah, that's true too. Between your teammate strikers. But yeah, generally. What's next? But yeah. What do you have? Quick strikes? Next we have quick strikes. <clears throat> it's the awakening. best awakening go pretty much for X. Go to the awakening. Because quick strikes lowers That's your strike awakening. cooldown. And your ult makes your strikes do damage. So if That's you put the two and two together, you get machine gun X. It's also the one ability where you can actually get energy off of Is this no, this is an X tier list. We're doing rune next. Like, you actually gain energy from punching somebody. That's so good. She just beat the shit out of them. You get the, all the energy. You can go core, core flip up for her, yeah, And exactly. you kill them. Uh, it's it's so a little cool. crazy. Sparkington Mare. Now, I always put the sparks together. <laughs> uh, they almost always go down here. Right. But mm, for X, it's, it's for actually kind of good. But, like, it's still it's sparks. 
<laughs> it's as, still, I'm sorry. As Please. long as you get Spark of Strength and Spark of Resilience, those are the only two that really matter. But you have to get at least those two. Uh, spark of Speed is the best Spark by far. You think? Well, spark like, of Speed gives you 10% base. But for X though, you just you, like you get what sixteen. Ah, uh, Spark of Speed is carrying sparks, but it's not enough. Yeah. These Stag things. The stagger ones. Huge. There's just so Stag many better awakenings. Huge. They need to be buffed. Yeah, uh, just a little bit. I, but having one of them needs to be a little. Power bit. is twenty based, yes, but you're getting twenty five base power for Price Fighter. It could increase by with only one awakening. What you're taking for these ones to scale. You get way better scaling on other things. Like if you take heavy impact, you're already doing 15% more damage on one of your abilities. Like two of your abilities are getting 15% more damage. You have to just not have hit at all. Like hit nothing except for sparks for that to be worth it. If you start with a sparks awakening at the beginning of the draft and there's not that much other good stuff up, you know, maybe you can or run for mayor. Or if you're just like last pick every time. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're dog water and die, you lose it, Laval. But you you play you you're you're setting up yourself for victory. You're not setting yourself up for failure. Your will. If you're a good player, if, if as long as you're not into double brawler, like something that could kill you a lot, you're not gonna die as much, right? If you know you're a better player, then you take the better awakenings. True. Gotta have faith in yourself. Specialized impact. I put it high S tier. Increases your ult damage oh, by fifty percent. Sure. But I wouldn't say it's higher than that. These are just way too good. It's not, yeah, it's not really a must-have, but it's nice, it's really good to have. Uh-huh, and now we're gonna put... Where are we gonna put stacks on stacks? It's a B tier. You think it's B tier? I think it's a, it's a, it's speed, but, uh, hold on. It's a change. Yeah, it's just speed. I think X stacks it very quickly, though, and it's actually... It gives you more speed, a lot more speed. You can, it's uh, yeah. Like what? High D. What, what would you take over? Like, I say it's an actual good DB tier to like take, because I, I think it's there's good. some better like, awakenings. Looking... But if you want speed, this this thing is like it's... way higher. But most of the time, you know, speed on X isn't like the most important thing. When you get out from other stuff. Like looking at everything above it, it's like I'd rather take that. It's stacks, yeah. It's Guy Fiore, thank you for the follow. Hey, right, no. Rapid fire. No, we have to do rapid fire first, which will be like low B. It's on pretty the, bad. X, yeah, it's Maybe bad. actually, it's it's down here, boys. It, it's like low B. Maybe even C. Nah, it's, like, C it's, it's C. It's C. It's C for me. That shit is just not good. Unless your name is like Drakkar, because all your damage is on your primary. You're not really spending uh, a lot. Yeah, now Stagger Swagger is fucking goaded. On every character. Yeah. Literally oh, sure. OP. No. Uh, the speed, the, yeah. You know, that's crazy. The shit is too good. It needs to be nerfed. I might even put it higher. If if you're going against double brawler, it goes even higher, bro. But this is where it's, it is like just average, on average. It's healing, it's speed, it has so much value. It's, it's this character value. is for X. This is the X awakening tier list, very awkward. Alright, next we have the Stinger, the Fable Stinger that All we right. spent calculating. <laughs> Alright, so I think we decided that's us plus. Uh, it's obviously us plus, because yeah. it's fucking Berrigan until it gets nerfed. Yeah. So I, I'd put it here, because this is in order of what, how good they are, I think, honestly. Okay. Uh, you, yeah, okay. I wasn't sure if you were reordering that later. No, I, that I, I, am, I am ordering it by it. That works. So far, I think it's pretty accurate. Of where Super they are. Garbage. Now unstoppable. It's a very unique case. That's I hate to say. It's A maybe. It's a it's, it's a like it's an A tier, right? But like if you're on IME Zap, it's like right here. Yeah. But if you're not on IME Zap, it's like it's like a well, right yeah. here. I'd say. Yeah. It's, it's Actually, no, right here. I'd say just like, no, it's fine. Super Surge. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> is it better than Sparks, though? Is it better than Sparks? No, it's not. <laughs> but it's like, the technology! Not. Honestly, Sparks are pretty dog! 
Spark's a dog, but Super Oh, uh, yeah, Super Surge is our dog. Let's put it next to Aerials. Okay, <laughs> I'll put it next to Aerials. It's better than Aerials, though, guys. It's better than Aerials. No. I need to reorder this, too. Kronobus is gonna go right here. Kronobus. No, Kronobus can be Ugh, okay. Now Tempo Swing. Now X has a lot of HP. I think that's like an A. At least, like a high A. To I us. think it's S, somewhere in S. Now where would I put it in S though? Basically it oh. scales really well to X because it's his percent HP that he's healing and doing damage middle. with. So it's a very good defensive and aggressive training. Both it's middle X. I'd say it's above Big Fish. It's not above Definitely Built above Diff. Big fish. Okay. But... I'd swap it. I mean, like, I feel like Built Diff, you could... You think it's better than Built Diff? I think the uh, Built Diff damage it's about, is better. It's, it's, it's about equal. Yeah, you could, it's interchangeable. It's depending on the match, yeah, exactly. right? If you if you need it's healing, good. obviously this type of awakening is going to be better, okay? Yeah. So, yeah. It, it, it's about the same. Tempo Sawyer on highest stagger forward is always going to be good, okay? Now we have Aerials. The final... Well, actually, no. Let's just do this one right quick. Which there one? we go. I was crazy. Dog shit. Dog shit. Yeah. It's, it's not even. It's useless. Yeah, it's straight up useless. Anyway, so twin drive. Let's now see. X is secondary is an ability for sure. <laughs> it's not a good ability. <laughs> it's not the best secondary in the game. But this awakening is totally broken, and there's things like Atlas in the game that really want it. So it's a very good thing to deny from people, and it's it's all it's I okay. It's I oh, on it's X. A C -tier. It's no, a C -tier. no, no, it gets carried by the fact it's uh, X is secondary to damage, bro. I think you're forgetting. It does bad damage. It does. Yeah, but you're like. I honestly. I, I, I guess a good player lands it, but. Dude, your good oh. player combos with the strikes every day of the week. This is going in A tier because it's it's a decent ability on him. And it lowers yeah. the cooldown of an ability on your thing, and it gives you two charges. Look, there's a reason why there's only one character with two charts of the primaries at the start of the game. Okay? Yeah, but like... And like, this right. dude, imagine... Okay, so, so let me, let me, let me reason why it's, it's an A tier, right? It's such a dog shit dash. Let me, let me reason. <laughs> Think about it. Let me reason it. Okay? Think about it. Right, I right, mean... Let, okay, uh, uh, let me cook. Let me cook. Yeah, I'll let you cook. Juliet? It's pretty decent on. Kai is oh, pretty absolutely. decent on. Dubu, Wait. really good. OP. Absolutely. Estelle? Uh, OP. Yeah, it's alright. It's, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Alice, literally the most broken shit in the game. Yeah. Juno, really OP. Really Dakar, cool. it's okay. Rune it's is good. really good because yeah, it gives you another yeah, pillar. Yeah. It gives you another pillar on the base. Uh, that's, oh, and that's it true. makes you have two charges. So they changed yeah. the way it works. It's pretty good on yeah. Era. It's really good on Luna. It's really good on Asher. Yeah. It's OP on Aimee, it's really cool. OP on Zentaro, and on Rasmus, it's, it's pretty it's, good. It's so if you look at the rest cool. of the cast, perspective-wise, if you steal it on X, you're getting a lot of more value than if you take if a different training. If you deny it, yeah. Exactly. If you so, deny it from So that, because it's... of that, it's gonna go in A tier. See, I'm, I'm, I'm accounting for everything in my tier list. See, see, that's just, that's just because it's a broken ass. That's just, yeah, exactly why it's an A tier. If it was if it was better on S, it would be up here. But it's uh, not. So we're going to put it right here. You convinced me to put it this far back, bro. I would have put it up here if it was for you. <laughs> but yeah, this right. is this is the no, X no, tier no, list. I think Unstoppable is so much better to have on X than Twin Drive, though. Uh, I don't think Unstoppable. <laughs> okay, okay, but which, which gear, though? Which gear do you take? So, so we're three, okay, three, so we're, let's just go over the forward, forward gears. I'm not gonna go over the goalie gears, gears, okay? Yeah, no. <laughs> but like after the four forward gears, this one's good. So the forward gear tier list. On like top to bottom, on how good they are. I mean it's oh, Bye man was fun watching your VOD. Okay. Later seven. This Vicious was uh, totally a recording VOD. Just have to be fucking up there. Pumbler's less so than Vicious Embrace. Oh, uh, Like, At Ignis, please explain to me why Stagger Swagger is better than Stacks on Stacks. I right, just for you. Let me just show you something. Let me show you how balanced this thing is, okay? Stacks on Stacks. So what you get for Stacks on Stacks? Look at this. Hits grant six stacks of speed. Okay? At 100 stacks, double the speed for stacks. So if it's 100 stacks, it's a... Uh, how much move speed? 
30 something? Uh, math. 35, I think. 35% movement speed, okay? Yeah, 35% movement speed at max stacks. And you can get Caden lose them all, okay? Well, let's look at Unstop. Uh, let's look at uh, Stagger Swagger right quick and see how broken this awakening is. Okay. Gain 4% speed, just base. That's not that much, right? But while below 50% Stagger, this, this effect increases to 40%. Easy 40%, as long as you're lower than 50%. And you heal for 100 Stagger per second, including while in the Stagger state. So, this game right now is mainly decided on when you're in the Stagger state, you die. This lowers the time you get dying from dying when you're in the Stagger state, and it makes it harder to get Staggered, okay? Not only that, it, does, it gives you 40% movement speed just for free. You don't not you don't need to make any conditions. You don't need to get all the stacks. You just have it. It's literally OP. Imagine. Have you seen me get this on Asher at all? It's not a lot more situational, man. Because if they don't damage you, and you're playing a champion like X or Asher, and you're just sitting on them, beating the heck out of them, what are they going to do? They can't do anything.